gathered by Cor Corbin Piper, a player that's uh, starting to make a name for himself in this Wexford team. Always seems to be in the right place at the right time. That's a good ball in behind here for Joshua Gersh. That's a really good block, though, from Corbin Piper. His ears must have been ringing. I was praising him, and uh, <laughs> he's just gone and made a fantastic block there. But that was a good made a run on the outside. It goes inside to Daly instead, though. And again, it'll go back to the centre-back, Kean Byrne. Burnt picks his head up and tries to play one over the top for Daly. That's an important header for Douglas. And that one's cleared away by Reese Webb, who tucked in from the full back position in the game. So that's a positive, I suppose. But as we said, neither team yet to create any real chances. Here's maybe an opportunity for Longford to get forward. That's Campbell lays it off to O'Connor. O'Connor's got under that one, but the keeper didn't read it overly well. It's headed back across the box by Ross Fay. And Serenyuk. Hand. Wexford just sitting in a shape at the moment, just soaking up the tiny bit of pressure that has been thrown at them. But here's a chance for O'Connor with his first touch just too far in front of him. And that's a really important... Wexford players complaining that the wall is not back the required 10 metres. So Levingston decides to bring the ball back. Well, the ref has already blown the whistle. The Levingston shoots, it took a deflection off the wall, it'll be a corner to Wexford. Looked like it was straight down the barrel of Jack. The, the ref has bailed himself out there for that bad call because Gurgi could have ran onto that ball and he always given a dodgy yellow card. It was probably never a yellow card. Was that the phantom foul? Was that what we were talking about before? Douglas, wasn't it? Yeah, he's done a lot of that tonight, Douglas. Here's Hanratty now, breaking forward. That's a good cross as well in towards Dobbs and that's an important header from Oshin Hand. That's very weak play from Faye. He's been just shoved out of the way by Key and Corbilly. It's a strike on goal from Ethan Boyle. It runs harmlessly. It finds Campbell. Campbell to Durvin. Durvin chips it inside. Oh, Gurgi so took it away from Frank Campbell. <laughs> Gurgi, fancy footwork, but doesn't lead to anything other than a free kick to Wexford. I think Gurgi is... Derek Daly, who ran straight into Levingston but uh, the ball breaks the way of A. Durvin and Longford now with bodies forward Durvin gets it out wide to Campbell Daly's coming in support but Campbell he's going to have a shot and oh the goalkeeper's made a mess of it and it's in the back of the net Connor up the line towards Frank Campbell the goal scorer but he's beaten to it this time Levingston in towards Dobbs breaks the way of Hanratty Hanratty holds it up, lays it out wide here to Crawford. Crawford gathers it in the area. It's a good cross from Crawford as well. And again, it was Key and Byrne facing his own goal. Heffernan puts his boot through it. It's helped on by Ethan Boyle. Serenyuk calls for a high boot. It didn't look like it though. The Wexford players <laughs> went stooped down <laughs> into it. But <laughs> and he, went down about 40 seconds after the boot was... He might have just taken a blow to the face uh, here. But definitely, no. there's no case there. It's hand that... Heads it forward. Daly, he helps it on now towards Campbell. Campbell looked like he was having his jersey pulled. Ball breaks the way of Longford Town. Though. Ross Fay picks it up wide. He's got Elworthy making a run outside. He finds Elworthy. Elworthy with a decent cross. It's a header on goal. No purchase on it from Gurgi though. Easily gathered. Position for the moment. Campbell unable to hold on to that one. He's gifted the ball here to the substitute, Aaron Doran. Doran down the line towards Karen Chambers. Serenyuk goes with him. And Serenyuk oh. absolutely wiped out <laughs> Chambers with a brilliant tackle. <laughs> Yeah, really good stuff. Doran tries to turn inside past Daly. Cross into the area where Hanratty challenges for it. It's going to fall away at Dobbs and it is a poacher's finish from Aaron Dobbs. Longford Town players appealing for offside. It's not going to be given. And a former Longford Town player comes back. Throw in taker. Ben Lynch knocks it ahead of himself and that's a good ball up to Dobbs. And Dobbs nicks it in behind. And here's Carl Chambers. Chambers. Lays it off to Dobbs. Dobbs, good save. Where is it going to fall? Oh, falls to Kyle O'Connor. He made a good save from Jack Brady. No, I don't. That's why he passed to Dobbs. He hey, Durvin. He's charged the ball down. And Durvin has had his jersey pulled there by Hugh that Douglas. And Douglas is going to go into the referee's notebook. That's an easy decision for referee Mark Lynch. I thought he had a yellow before. No, it was Epp. Serenyuk gathers it. Drives Longford up the park. Here's Campbell. Campbell trying to lay it into the path of Serenia. It almost broke the way of Campbell and Piper there. He's cleaned out his own man <laughs> and uh, he's given away a sky. A battle between Dobbs and Campbell. Ball breaks to Armstrong. Armstrong thinking about a shot. Nice little back heel there. Ball played in towards Jamal Ibrahim and up there as well was Oshin Hand. The centre back had stayed up for Longford and his headed attempt results in a corner and hand through and down on the ground is Fra Frank Campbell who seems to be getting involved in incidents by the minute now. It's Piper that's picking up Campbell. Let's go. Durvin. 
Oh, and I think that was Serenyuk that got something on it. Well gathered, though, by Heffernan. We might get a look. And he does well to find a teammate. That's Webb. Webb with a ball towards the back post. Brady has to come through. Lots of traffic. Flag did go up. That was very brave goalkeeping from Jack Brady. Absolutely huge stuff from Jack Brady. That will do. Yeah, he was off. they were offside, but my God. At the Chambers. And Longford have a man down here. It's Gary Armstrong. Longford defending with a man disadvantage now as a result. And here's a shot on goal. And Dobbs has got something on it. It's in the back of the net. It's an unfortunate one from a Longford Town point of view. Not only did they have a... Centre of the park for Longford Town. Longford on a retrieval mission here. Kyle O'Connor's a decent cross. Frank Campbell making a nuisance of himself in the area. Campbell's done well to keep it alive. Booty with a strike on goal, but he's cut across it. Longford Town players appealing for the decision, but it didn't get a touch according to the referee. The ref did take up a bag of time doing all that. Yeah, he's got the whistle in the mouth. He's looked at the, wa uh, the watch again, but uh, Jamal Ibrahim going to try and keep... This a life for Longford Town. Ibrahim carries it into the area. He lays it off the burn. It's in. Is it in? No, it's oh. gone wide. It looked like it was in the back of the net. A player you would.